So we started with a closure operator double prime and we define another closure operator L bullet whose closed sets are sets that are closed or pseudo closed with respect to double prime. Now we can use this new closure operator in conjunction with next closure to generate all such sets, all pre-closed sets, or in other words, all pseudo closed and closed sets of double prime, but output only those that are not closed. We know that these not closed sets are pseudo closed with respect to double prime. And so they give us premises of the canonical basis. Whenever we generate a pseudo closed set P, we add the implication P implies P double prime to the list L, L of uh, our implications. And in the end, we're going to get the canonical basis corresponding to double prime. Well, it turns out that at the point when we have to compute uh, L, the preclosure of A, L bullet of A, the list L must already contain all the necessary information. It must contain all the implications P implies P double prime for pseudo closed sets P that are proper subsets of L bullet of A. And on the other hand, it doesn't include any implication whose premise includes A. And this is because sets are generated in the lactic order. So if now it's, it's A, A's turn to be generated or to be considered, it's completely impossible that we already have an implication B implies C such that B is a superset of A. And because of this, um, to compute L bullet of A, we can in fact use the list L. It contains all the necessary information and it doesn't contain anything extra. And so we can use any algorithm such as, for example, link closure to calculate L bullet of A using our current list L. Well, this is the pseudocode of the algorithm that computes the canonical basis corresponding to the closure operator double prime. It starts with the empty set L um, and then it goes through subsets of M starting with the empty set. So A is initially empty. Um, as long as A becomes equal to M, this is the last, the lactically last closed, well actually pre-closed, but also closed set. So once we reached M, we stop. As long as A is not M, we check if uh, A is closed, and if it's not closed, it must be pseudo-closed. So we add the implication A implies A double prime to our set L, and then we compute the next closed set uh, after A, the lactically next closed set after A, closed with respect to the set of implications L. And as argued before, this set is going to be pre-closed with respect to double prime. So here we get the next pre-closed set, which is again either closed or pseudo-closed, and we go to the next iteration of our loop. In the end, we'll have the canonical basis of our closure operator.